So I was very happy when I could convince Birgitta Svendane, who is the boss of the Stockholm Opera, that uh, she was, like me, decided to do a new production of Edora. And uh, it is an opera that is quite rarely done these years, these last years, and it was a big vehicle, of course, you know, for you know, big you know, stars, prima donnas, in the past. But uh, I thought it was time you know, to have a new view on this piece, and, and I was very happy that I could do this production now here in Stockholm with two singers in the main parts that I know for some years now and uh, so that with Asmik Gregorian we have a um, maybe the first time for many many years a really uh, young Fedora and uh, and then with Andrea Carré a tenor who is extremely you know, sensitive and there where it has to be wild <laughs> as Loris and so we, the, that gives us a chance to have a new look on, on this uh, story and on, on the characters. <laughs> So, because Fedora, she is a woman who has actually difficulties in finding out what she really wants and who she really is. And, but despite of this, she appears always to be very decided, very strong, but, um, but she is a victim of her own passion. And, um, and, and that made me think about this concept that, that we found that um, there is nearly, it's like two stories that, that we tell at the same time. So we, we tell a story about the woman, Fedova, who is, you know, with all the directness of her feelings that she has to express all the time. She, she made me think in a certain way of you know what uh, might be the typical prima donna. So, and the, the 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 fact that she is pretending Fedora uh, feelings, for example, when she when she wants you know Loris to make feeling uh, falling in love with her, she she plays a little bit with her own feelings, and uh, then in the end she. She falls in love with him. feelings like an opera singer or an actor or an actress has to experiment with own feelings as well. And, and this is why we have as a double layer really the, the story of the singer who is uh, representing Fedora uh, on that evening. And there is, so it, I think it is in a very sensual way, um, a concept where the people will follow you know, the, the story, but in the same way, or maybe even the day after, 
they have a lot of things to think about about what it is what is a genuine feeling what what is really the, where you are really close to yourself and where do you just play a role and um, and the contrast to this very complicated psychology of uh, of the woman fedora is is loris because loris he is um i would say less complicated in in the way that that uh, that he is never ever um trying to play with other people and so he has a very naive side and this is why he in, in a certain way he, he he it's so easy for fedora to play with him but but the but the interesting thing is that during the action that all what fedora built up as a complicated network around her it it nearly beats back and and the stronger character um is is loris at the end so we, he so he survives and um and what he will keep is is a strong memory from a uh, uh, love story that will change his life forever